Welcome to the first episode in the series Quirks in JavaScript. Today we're going to talk about loose versus strict equality and what what's the difference between them really. Everybody, I'm sure you know about this uh, topic, it's fairly common and everybody should just uh, using the strict equality most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time you should use the strict equality. But why is that? Let's find out. So let's start off with simple comparisons here. I have here opened the uh, DevTools and I want to just uh, compare two numbers, simply something like five, if five is equal to, let's say six, that's false, as you can see, that's pretty obvious, of course. If I say five equals equals five, that gives me true. Simple enough, so I get a boolean out of that. Now, what happens if I add strict equality? Because notice here I used loose equality. If I say five triple equals five, that's no different. We still got the same result. Now the difference is going to become very obvious once I try to compare two different types of data. So for example, what if I instead have instead of five equals equals to five, if I say five equals equals to the string that has the uh, character five in it, what's gonna happen? Well, we get a value true. And this is the main difference. If I try to do the same thing with strict equality, you'll notice that we get false, right? So what's going on here? I mean, okay, sure, that's nice that it, we actually get an uh, true out of the first one, but what's the actual difference behind the scenes? Well, you have to think about loose equality as being something added on top of strict equality, right? It's that portion, the difference that makes, well, the difference. What is that difference? Well, that is actually type conversion, right? So whenever strict equality tries to compare two values, right? It just, it just first looks at the types and says, oh, wait a second, these are, these two are different. Uh, no, 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 that's false. They can't be true. Uh, they can, that can be true. That can, they can be equal, right? But what loose equality does, it says, well, even though those types are actually different, let me try, let me try and convert them to a, uh, to the same type and see if that's gonna get me something, right? So basically loose equality does one more operation on top of this. So what loose equality does in this situation, it says, okay, well, here's five as a number, right? And then here's five as a string. And in this situation where I have a, number and a string and try to compare them and say, no, 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 wait a second. I'm going to try to convert this string to a number first. And we can actually prove that by simply saying five equals equals, and then just add a lot more zeros to this. And you'll notice that it still remains true, right? Because if I try to convert this string using the plus operator, just the unary operator, just saying here plus and then a string here, you'll notice that if I run this, I get the number five. So that's basically how it behaves when it comes to numbers and strings. Okay, okay, so let's try some other types. Let's try, for example, what if I say um, one equals equals, strict, strict equals this time to true. Well, that's false because one, it's definitely not true because they are different types, right? It's a strict equality. But if I do the same with uh, loose equality here, you'll notice that it's actually true. So one is actually equal to true. But why is that? Simple. Again, since it saw that we have a number and then a Boolean, it tries simply to convert that Boolean to a number. And if I, and it actually does it by simply using the, again, the, plus operator by saying plus true. And that's going to be equal to one, right? And same goes with false. False also has a value here, which is actually zero. So that's kind of nice that you can simply convert these into numbers. Now, of course, if you cannot actually convert the string to a number, it's going to give you false. If I try to do something like five uh, equals equals five in this situation would work. But if I say five D, well, it's going to be false, of course, because it failed to actually uh, convert this into a number, simple enough. 
Now one more area the loose equals operator is actually very useful is when, when comparing it to undefined or null. Let me show you something. If you try for example to have, well I don't know, let's say the string test and test that if it's equal to undefined. Well of course it's not. And the same goes if I try to uh, test it strictly, right? It's simply not going to be equal to undefined. But what happens if instead I say test, I'm going to say null here, right? If I say null equals equals to undefined, that's true. Okay, but what if I say null strictly equals to undefined? That's false. Okay, so that's actually an issue when it comes to, well, for example, checking if there's a value inside your object, right? If you have maybe a not so optimal situation where you can have both undefined and null in that field, right? You should actually be using the loosely equal undefined because uh, basically every single object is loosely unequal to null or undefined, right? Where in uh, this case, you're gonna have to test for both of them. If I define here a simple test variable that's actually gonna be equal to null, well, if I compare this to undefined using the loosely equal operator, you'll notice that it's true. So that's nice. That means that it actually detected that there's nothing there using just one simple condition, right? But what if I do the same thing with uh, the strict operator? Well, you'll notice that I get undefined and that's false. And that could give me fa false positives, right? Um, in the case that I'm just checking if it's strictly equal to undefined and I have a null there, I'm just gonna get a null reference exception. So if you wanna test for both null and undefined, you're either gonna have to use the loosely equals operator, which is really nice, I think, or you're gonna have to increase the size of your condition. Just say undefined or null and then it's going to give you true in this case because well it's actually strictly equal to null so there are two very important differences that you should actually keep in mind so first things first and the most important one is that the loosely equals operator it's going to try to convert the data type right if you have numbers and strings, it's going to try to convert that string to a number. If you have numbers and booleans, it's going to convert that boolean into a number and so on, right? Remember that. And the second one is that, well, loosely equal is going to test for both undefined and null. So that's a nice feature that you can actually take uh, advantage of because in that case, actually no conversion really occurs because undefined is, is its own type and same is null, right? So I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.